The inaugural Bourbon and Belonging event is kicking off this week and includes a great lineup of events. Joining us to tell us a little bit more about it is Executive Director of Queer Kentucky, Missy Spears. Missy, great to have you here. Thank you so much for having so me. So tell me all about this brand new event. Uh, so Bourbon and Belonging starts this Wednesday and runs through Sunday. Uh -huh. It's going to be in eight different cities across Kentucky at the same time. And Louisville is the largest hub of events. Mm -hmm. We're going to have over 40 events here this week. And I love that you have so many cities participating. Oh, absolutely. I bet the response was, I mean, there's, this is the first of its kind of event. I was telling yes. you before, you know, it's crazy that nobody's thought of this before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, I love that we're throwing the first yeah. in, queer inclusive bourbon festival in the country, possibly the world. Yeah, what can people expect from the lineup of festivities to the types of bourbon brands you have participating? Oh wow, so here in, in Louisville alone, uh, we have over a dozen different bourbon brands participating, uh -huh. uh, including Old Forester, um, Angel's Envy is throwing a couple different events, including a large party Wednesday, or Friday night on mm. Whiskey Row. Um, uh, out in Bardstown, we have Lux Row, uh, we have makers doing multiple events throughout the state. It's just incredible the inclusion we have. And so it, it feels like I can just go on a bourbon trail journey. Absolutely. Right? Is that kind of what yes. you all have set up is like here's the map of all the different locations that there's an event, a party, a tasting. Absolutely. People can go to the website bourbonandblogging.com. Uh, you can filter events by city. Uh, you can put them in chronological order. Uh -huh. uh, you can plan out to visit the entire state. We also have shuttles here just in Louisville. Just take off for the whole week. Oh, this just is take great. off for the whole week. I love the idea. Who needs just to pay the off. rent? Right. Right? Yeah. Just take off for the week and go I, do this. But we're going to have events in Bardstown that will pick you up at your hotel in Louisville. Oh, uh, we're just trying to make it as easy as possible. Right. Are you getting a good response from the community that wants yes. to come into town specifically for this event? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh -huh. It's just like pride festivals. When yeah. you go to them, it's not, not just queer people. It's uh, folks just from everywhere, yeah. every different walk of life. Uh, we're experiencing that with our festival. Well, take me behind the scenes how this all came together. Why did you want to do this in general and, and why it's important to this community and kind of what the future holds for what, what it could be. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, talks about this for this event started about three years ago uh, when they were, you know, COVID happened. How do we bring folks back into Kentucky? Right. Uh, and so why don't we mix, uh, you know, Kentucky's favorite child bourbon um, with, you know, the, the queer community mm -hmm. who is always, you know, looking for new events, new experiences and new industries to, to take part in. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we were able to get it planned out over the last year and a half. Uh, this is the first one and, and we don't know where it's going to go in the future. Right. Really excited for this. Well, the bourbon industry not only has grown in Kentucky, but it's become incredible incredibly inclusive, mm -hmm. right? And I think too, you're, you're probably realizing, oh wow, we're represented in all aspects of bourbon. We're learning not only how to drink it, but yeah. you know, the aspects of making it and distilling and being yes. a part, being included at the table of the process of, of the business too, right? I feel like it's a great networking opportunity oh, from that perspective. It's fantastic. Yeah. And there is so much inclusion behind the scenes. It just isn't seen. Uh, you know, New Rift Distillery in Newport has the yeah. first lesbian CEO of bourbon. Mm -hmm. uh, here at Old Forester, the master taster and assistant distiller are both queer. Um, it's just incredible to, to see that happening behind the scenes. Yeah. Uh, how do we get tickets? Uh, Bourbonandbelonging.com. Okay. Uh, you can check out the events. You'll buy the tickets directly through the other, uh, through the event hosts, uh, and it's easy as pie. You get ready. It's yeah. going to take over a whole month now. Oh, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, the, it's big things are coming. <laughs> Call up work now. Great to have you here. Thank, Thank you. you so much. This event kicks off this week. Bourbon and Belonging happening October 2nd through the 6th. To learn more, up at bourbonandbelonging.com.